Hello everyone. Today we are going to study pili. It is also referred as the fimbri. So what is pili? What does it do for bacteria? So we are going to learn many much more about the pili in today's lecture. We are going to continue structure of bacteria. So in this case so we have already reached next organelle of the bacteria that is the pili or it is also referred as the fimbri so the pili are the hollow non helical filamentous hair like appendages which are called as the pili so these are present on the bacterial cell particularly the gram negative bacteria so you can see here the figure of the bacterial cell having this is the long structure that is the flagella we already studied and the remaining structures they are showing as the pili the pili are 0.2 to 20 micron in length that is a wide range of the uh, length of the pili that is from 20, 0.2 micron to 20 micron in length and what about the width they are about 30 to 140 angstrom unit in width so there is much more difference in the length and the width width is in the angstrom very much small size then these organelles that originate in the cell membrane and these pili are mainly found to be restricted to the gram negative bacteria so in this case we have seen the two more important characteristic the they are commonly present in the gram negative bacteria that's why we are mentioned here they are restricted to the gram negative bacteria so as far as the pili structure is concerned they are protein in nature and the protein of the pila is called as the pilin or as a fimbri it is referred as the fimbrilin so molecular weight of this protein is about 16000 and it consists of at least 163 amino acids so structure is studied more much detail so we have mentioned here the chemical nature their molecular weight or what about the components of the protein that is the 163 amino acids and in this case these pili are classified by Otto in six groups in 1975 according to the Otto there are six type of the pili you can see here the group 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 but the group 2 contain a very specific pili that is called as the special type of the pili and these are known as the sex pilus. A singular one is referred as the sex pilus, which are totally different from most of the other group of the pili. So in this case, the sex pilus is concerned. These are much more longer. These are wider and very few in numbers as compared to the normal pili which are present in the bacteria. So these are generally mostly 1 to 10 per organism while in the other cases the other pili which are present throughout the cellular body on the surface of the cellular body of the bacteria but these are very few in numbers and the presence of this pili is determined by special type of the plasmid that is called as the sex factor and that is also referred as the f factor those bacteria contain this factor that is f factor the are able to synthesize the such type of the pili that is the sex pili this f factor that have the ability to control the synthesis of this type of the pili and that's why it is determined by this f factor and how they differ from the normal pili it is about 65 to 132 angstrom unit in diameter and these are much more longer that is up to 20 micrometer in length so they are much more longer as well as they are wider than the normal pili which are present belonging to the other group so their diameter that is a uh, is 65 to 132 but axial hole is about 25 to 30 angstrom in diameter so in this case now we come to the various functions of the pili the first one is the most important character is associated with the pili is the adhesive properties so adhesiveness in the bacteria is mainly due to the pili which 
enable the organism to attach the natural substrate and other individuals of their species so that they can adhere to the smooth surface and that is much more contributing to the virulence. As an adherence means you can see here we have given the example that is the fimbriated E. coli are able to agglutinate the RBC because they can attach to the RBC they will get clumped together due to the adhesive properties. Second one is the pili they have the antigenic properties. So all these pili possesses the antigenic properties and members of the different genera may possess the similar fimbrial antigens. There is, there is no much more diversity but it is uh, somewhat to some extent there are similar type of the fimbrial antigens are present. The next important is the culture of the fimbriated bacteria. For example, E. coli can form a thin layer or pellicle of the cell in a static liquid medium. That means when you grow them in a liquid medium, the tube is uh, in the static condition. In that case, they will grow, they multiply and they will form the growth at the surface that is of the broth and that is referred as the pellicle. And this property is due to the adhesiveness of the fimbri and they also act as an organ to supply the oxygen in large quantity. Then next is the character of the sex pilus which provide the means of chromosome transfer during the conjugation. We have seen that this pili that is the sex pili are much more wider and longer and it acts as a organ of conjugation with the other type of the bacteria which are not having this type of the pili and there is a transfer of genetic material from one cell to other by this mechanism that is known as the conjugation and that conjugation is mainly due to the sex pilus which is synthesized by the specific plasmid or the F factor present in those bacteria. So all bacteria are not able to have the process of the conjugation only those bacteria which are able to synthesize the sex pilus, they can conjugate with the other bacteria and that is determined by the presence of the F factor. So this was about the pili, you can see here the special type of the pili which are much more longer as compared to the other one. So now we complete here the pili that is the pilus singularly and they are taking part in the conjugation. Thank you.